What is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing you a video about the army cadets rank. Uh, these are all non-commissioned officers ranks, which means you do not salute them whatsoever. We are British cadets, we don't have uh, officer ranks within our cadet force. Okay, so the first rank is cadet. It says cadet at the top because you are not an adult instructor. At the bottom it says ACF, so it shows that you are a cadet and you are not in the regular army and you're not in the territorial either. Uh, the first rank is the cadet which has no stripes and it's completely blank and have no sort of a seniority in the ranks. So the second rank you'll see is Lance Corporal. You can see it is distinguished by a single chevron or a, or a stripe, if you will. Um, there is the first NCO rank. It is the easiest to get, it is the hardest to earn, but also the easiest to lose. So be careful. Always watch, always watch yourself. Keep yourself to the highest standard. Uh, don't mess around when you're at this rank, even though there are so many people who will abuse this rank because it's their first NCO rank, but some people still abuse their ranks even past the rank of Lance Corporal, but that is for another subject entirely. So this is the first rank, as you see, it's the, uh, it has a single stripe or chevron, and this is how it's distinguished. So the third rank we are have here is Corporal. Corporal is can be distinguished by two chevrons, as you can see. It is not a very high rank, but it's still quite a respectable rank, even though it is the third rank. Uh, the, sorry, the second rank you earn as a non-commissioned officer. Um, you do you have more responsibilities. Uh, you're in charge of more cadets, obviously, and you do have the ability to punish cadets if necessary, of course. But however, just because you are able to punish them, do not take it overboard. Okay, so the fourth rank is Sergeant, which is obviously distinguished by three stripes. Um, typically, people who are sergeants are quite senior. Well, they're obviously senior, but usually at uh, they're usually three star, uh, three stars, um, or four stars. It depends. There are quite several, uh, quite a number of sergeants that are actually four stars, surprisingly, but it, they do exist and they are quite respectable members. Do not mess around in front of them because you're just going to make yourself look like an absolute idiot. Okay, so the fifth rank is Staff Sergeant or Colour Sergeant. If they are infantry unit, usually you can distinguish if they're infantry by their khaki green uh, berets. If they are any other colour, usually they are known as um, Staff Sergeants by mistake. And of course, there are exceptions. How, Like, for instance, if the person does own a maroon beret or they have a parachute regiment cap badge they are s how the reason why they don't have they might not have maroon is because they are not parachute qualified they haven't earned the beret uh, as a regular or territorial the sixth rank I'm going to be talking about is the company sergeant major or WO2 or warrant officer 2 however there are other ranks that you should be aware of such as battery sergeant major if they are um ter uh, royal artillery it depends because what it what doesn't matter is the fact that uh, the word company sergeant major uh is an uh, appointment however wo2 or warrant officer 2 is the name of the actual rank this rank is very commonly mixed up with Major upon recruits. Major has a small crown, as but as you can see for uh, WO2 or the Warrant Officer 2 or CSM, whatever, um, it is a large crown. It's very, very commonly mistaked upon recruits. Uh, 
between majors and the company sergeant majors but you have to remember in your head company sergeant majors have big crowns and uh, majors have only small crowns okay uh, so the next rank is RSM or the actual rank name is W01 or Warrant Officer 1 uh, which is distinguished by the Queen's Crest although it may look fancy schmancy and all that business you do not salute him do not salute anyone that holds a rank that looks like this otherwise you might end up being beasted or as jokingly saying you might have a pay stick whacking you or whatever <laughs> I'm only joking so anyway uh, yes this is the regimental sergeant major usually in charge he will be in charge of the county or your battalion um, unlike the company sergeant major who is only in charge of a, of the company level the uh, W01 or the Warrant Officer 1 is in charge of all of the companies in your battalion or in your um, county. Okay, so this is the last but not least. This is the only rank that you'll probably never, uh, hardly even see or actually never even see. It is a really, really rare rank. I have never even seen this rank before in my life until I joined the Army Cadet Force. So this rank is the Cadet Under uh, Officer. Typically it is awarded to a Sergeant Major who has shown officer potential uh, in their last year as a Cadet. Um, and what I did not mention before in the in uh, Colour and Staff Sergeant, you need to be a four star pass. Uh, you also need to be a four star pass for Company Sergeant Major and for the or the wo2 but for one officer or one officer one or a wo1 you need to be a master cadet for under officer you also do need to be a master cadet and the uh, um, under officer rank can be distinguished by a solid thick uh, white line going vertically across is it vertically or horizontal yes you you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just. It is really late, and I'm making this video. So, anyway, yes. So this is the final rank that you can earn as a cadet. Um, if you guys, but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. It would really help me if you did. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which I'll be doing the. Sorry, uh, Army Cadet, the Army Cadet Force Adult Instructors, and what you will be expecting uh, is Air Cadet ranks uh, and Royal Marine ranks. And unfortunately, because I am an absolute doofus, uh, I will struggle on doing a Sea Cadet rank, but I'll try my best.